On Saturday, there were two officer involved shootings. Today, we received photos of the weapons recovered from those incidents. Yep. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway joining us live this afternoon with more on the crime. And Zach, I understand that you spoke with some of the crime activists. What are they saying this afternoon? Ken, well, they say they are alarmed while violent crime has gone down in most major U.S. cities here in the River City. It has risen sharply. April is proving to be violent in Jacksonville. According to News for Jack's records, to date, 23 people have been shot and 10 homicides have plagued the city this month, already surpassing the number of homicides from April 2019. Last month, 55 people were shot and there were 18 homicides. For perspective, that's three times the number of homicides from March 2019. We have seen a spike in uh, domestic issues, and that's that is probably something you can directly relate to uh, quarantine. We've seen a couple of mental health issues obviously pop up. Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams says on the flip side, they've seen a decrease in burglaries and property crime. We're getting a lot of support from the community. Uh, we've got a, a, an energetic workforce that is really dialed in and focused. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry says the community needs to combat crime like it has COVID-19. And I hope that we can come out of this and all agree that uh, we've got to be in, in that that fight as well together. Uh, we're on the front line out in the community combating crime, drugs, and violence. Donald Foy, the president of Jacksonville's Mad Dads chapter, says their face-to-face -face community outreach is on pause because of COVID-19. The only way we've been able to do it is through our Facebook. I asked Foy if he thinks the lack of advocacy is detrimental in contending crime in today's climate. Well, these guys are going to do what they are going to do. Sheriff Williams says the police force is very busy, spread thin. As an activist, your thoughts on this? I'm, I'm hopeful that the arrests that they have made is going to help us in the long term. That's Jolie Manning, the executive director of Justice Coalition. Unfortunately, when you see people out of work and they're struggling financially, we're going to see more of the crime. And of course, if you have any information on any of these incidents, you're asked to call police or Crime Stoppers immediately. We also received an update on the officer injured in one of the incidents from the weekend. We're told by the sheriff that she is expected to be OK. She is recovering and she will return to the force he, he suspects once she completes her administrative leave. Live in Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.